Like, bro, everybody want to know, like, I was, we was asking different questions, and they wanted to know, like, uh, what you plan on battling in uh, Calico again? Would that ever be possible? Uh, nah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make no sense for me. You know what I'm saying? Or for him. You know what I mean? He got, he caught a win. He caught me on a bad day. You know, uh, let him have that. He can have that. You know what I mean? No, I got you. I got you. I, I, I mean, I, I've tried to, to make that happen, but... I mean, I'm just keeping it realistic. I'm out of there, bro. <laughs> I'm out of there. Like, I, I love the culture, but the politics of it, it just it just got really corny. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, battle rap, making songs, or podcasting, like, what's your go-to these days? Uh, when you talk about po uh, what other podcasts I watch? No, just, like, you podcasting, like, rather you making music, podcasting, yes. or what? battle rapping. Music, which one, music, like which one you want to go to? I mean, I said to myself, I definitely wasn't gonna battle this year, so I can't say that something might not happen next year. I might not, I might create a league and get that popping. But you know, the politics of battle rap, the one thing that I, I really dislike is that they're, they're not creating a way that battle rappers can eat off the battles after they battle. It's like a one and done, you know what I mean? And that kind of makes the culture it. it it keeps the culture at a stepping stone level where you can't really be uh, successful in a, uh, unless you're like a league owner, you own the footage or, or whatever. But as a battle rapper, it's like you're going to check for a show, but, but you can't perform that show ever again. You know what I mean? Yeah. For me, the music always was always the goal. Like back in the days when Fight Club, Fight Club and all that shit was popping, we was doing that shit to get our names hot so that we could, you know, get them situations with like record labels or whatever. But now that I'm in a position where, you know, podcast is like, it's, it's moving so fast, you know, I'm around all these artists, it kind of like woke it back up. And shout out to Wyclef. I want to say shout out to Wyclef. He gave me a, a, a Fuji's plaque and I hung it up in my living room and just staring at it every day just reminded me like, yo, you wanted a rap. You wanted a rap. You forgot that. So I'm back at it again. You know what I mean? Dope, dope, dope. I'm not, we hear that uh, you got some fire and it's different, huh? <laughs> like make it different type of music than what people, you know, know you for. Yeah, like, exactly. What's that process? Um, I mean, I always, you know, my mom used to play all different types of music for me when I was young. She used to play classical music. And as, as the, the, the symphonies would play out, she would tell me stories to them. So I always had an ear for like, anytime I heard a beat, it's like I already knew what kind of song was supposed to be on it. I knew what was supposed to be said on it. You know what I mean? And it, and I still got that. I could do it. I got I got records I'd be telling people, yo, it's me and Tank. I got Tank on the record, but it's really me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's really me. You know what I mean? I could sing, I could, I could, I could do everything, bro. And I feel like in this world, you here to find out what you, what you're possible what you're capable of you know what i mean you're here to find out what you're capable of and the only way you're going to find out is to put it to the test and just like battle rap you know you you step on that stage it's a test like am i better than you uh, on this day you know what i mean it's the same thing with everything else in life you gotta uh, and can i do this can i do this can i do that what's the point of just sticking to one thing and just you know what I mean? Just like, okay, I'm just going to do this. Nah, bro, there's so much more to this, to this life. And, and we praise the people that take those chances. We praise the people that, that, that decide, okay, um, I want to do this now. And if you're good at that, then that's great. You think about uh, Deion Sanders. Like, he's the only athlete in, in history to, to hit a home run and, and a touchdown in the same week in two different sports. You know what I mean? Like stuff like yep. that should be exalted. Like I, I love shit like that. I, lo I love people that don't limit themselves. So that's why I'm at with it. I ain't trying to limit nothing. And like with the podcast, and I know y'all had spoke on it before, like when it came to like the Mason and Fabio situation, like how you feel?